It's always a pleasure to have you back. This one is all about what triggered my play and the Facebook play today alerted um, late in the day at about two o'clock. I'll go step by step on what I was looking at and why I went into the play. Maybe this will help you out. Now, Facebook was very strong last Friday. So all the tickers that are strong one day might or may remain strong on the following day. But you have to see a reason for it. Basically, I was watching it crossing a line because look at what happened on that Friday morning. Right at the gate, it went through a line and then there was this yellow line acting as resistance here right at the gate. And then it had a great day until the end of the day. Um, what happened at the beginning of this morning, basically it... Um, it opened and it went poof right on that yellow line see it this was support so basically what happened was it was trading fine up 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 it didn't want to cross the line and then it dumped but it didn't go any further than the bulls that were there on last friday so basically if you look at things here all the bulls that decided to be in above this line are, are still happy to be in above this line. So this tells you that below are the sellers. Under this line, sellers. Right? Also what it creates is a channel. We go up to this line and then the channel, we reject it and then it's coming down to this channel line. When we trade a channel, you either want to be part of the breakout or what's nice is to be part of breakout when we're at the bottom for a breakout, right? Now, what I was looking at is this. We were on support. We rejected the top and then we were coming down towards a certain line another thing that caught my mind my uh, my eye is this see on Thursday now we're on the 320 option strike for this week's expiration and on Thursday 2,500 contracts were sold see this volume now on friday we're at 10,000 10.6 thousand contracts sold for this week's expiration on 320s and looking at today we're at 19,000 so basically volume is increasing while the ticker is on the bull side of things Basically, all these options are telling you that somebody is expecting to be either um, above 320 in order to be at expiration in the money, or someone's extremely bearish knowing that it's never going to get to 320 and they're selling the options. Because what this volume is telling you is the volume changing hands from one contract to another hand so it's never because there's a high volume on one strike that it's going to go to that strike no it could be someone selling but it could also be someone being very bullish about it I was more in the bullish camp because of the fact that we had a very good day on Friday we were still on the bull side of things but I wanted to remain on the bull side of things. So this is when the entry becomes very important. And this is how we do it. Now we're back in the chart. I was telling you that this one here was the line that was rejected from the open, right? We got to the support that we tested last Friday 
back up, rejecting, rejecting again, and then all the way down to same line. Now we get a double bottom. We have two options. Either we get in here, calls, and if we break under, we are um, in the seller's territory, so it can drop very quickly. Or we can wait for confirmation. This line was also support, right? See here, I'll take some off here. Bounce here, went up, down, tested here, the, the line, the yellow line, then went back up to the green line. Green line is the uh, forest green line is the 200 EMA. So here it's 200 EMA, which was tested here on this point. Now this is where you have to be patient and look for it and wait for it in fact, because 200 EMA, it will come down to this blue line, which is old support. Two things are gonna happen. You're gonna break through it like this, like that, drop below, right? You've seen that happen before, right? So this becomes a triple bottom and most most of the time this was what this is what will happen here because we're below we will have a lot of shorts covering so basically it will go like this it will reject the uh, old support and become new resistance and it will drop this is really textbook for a bearish entry because here we are on the bearish side of things, right? Or the other thing that will happen is this. Let me clear up a few things here. Come here, test 200. We come test this blue line and then we go back up. So my entry was pretty much right here. Um, and the idea was I'm basically go a little higher here. Basically what I'm risking is this level. I'm risking this area because if we get under this is the stop out, right? You get stopped. I'm risking this area to a potential of this area. Why? Because you know that this area there is no resistance. It was touching it many times, came back down to, to test the yellow line. It will slowly go back up to test it again which happened and down and then this is the end of the day. But basically what happened, it's still getting a little messy, I'm sorry here, but basically what happened is right here, we alerted the 320 strike for this week. This was at 120 per contract and no greed. You know that this line is resistance because it was resistance pre-market resistance right after the open so we took partial profit here at 202 which is decent for um, about an hour of trading so all in all back to all of this right I'm gonna help you out on a few things what I was looking is previous day, previous day support. And then we're still in the bullish side. Let 
we are holding um, support intraday and volume on the strike that we're interested in. All this managed to set an entry at the right place for a decent one hour trade. So basically this is what I was looking and this is how I made the trade step by step. I hope you guys are um, watching, listening, learning. Let me know comments. I really enjoy it. And uh, I'll catch you again for another great trade. Take care, folks.